your shoulders back and down. Relax your face. Good morning. My voice is still. I don't want to say waking up because that sounds odd, but kind of waking up. It is 7.50 for me right now, and when I look outside, it's beautiful. It's a little bit colder today. I think, let me see, I think it's gonna be in the 60s. Yeah. The high is 60, so in the 50s most of the day. Pretty low 50s. Um, but when I look outside, uh, the sun is still kind of rising a little bit, so just the way that the light is coming in through the trees is beautiful. Maybe I'll try to get a video of that. The video definitely does not do it justice, but it's beautiful, nonetheless. And the birds are chirping, and this is kind of the only time that I'm not mad at the birds because I think it's kind of calming to hear their lives just continuing on like normal. I have a big cup of coffee. Actually, it's not that big. It's the smallest that my coffee maker can I didn't have coffee yesterday because I've actually been feeling quite off um, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, I know I've talked about this COVID-19 coronavirus situation a little bit in my last Whispered Ramble. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much because it does cause me a good bit of like stress and anxiety, but I do want to share some things as well because it's what we're all dealing with, so it's really relatable. Um, I am a teacher. I think that's well known by now, so I am definitely like an essential worker, although not in person. You know, obviously they closed schools. I, I want to say like three weeks ago at this point. I think this is our third week. Maybe. Yes. Which is so crazy. I cannot believe I haven't seen my babies in that long. Oh my god. It, like, I can't actually think about that or it'll just make me cry, cry and be so sad. But I... been doing like digital learning and up until this point it's only been review. So on Monday the 6th we'll start teaching new material and I'm actually excited about it. I was worried but my school district has put out like pretty much like a calendar and plans and resources for everything. And so I've been modifying them, mainly making them cuter because they're so ugly, and making them digital. So one thing that I have learned to do is be better at making Google Slides and resources for online learning, which has actually been really fun. 
I've loved learning little, I mean, super easy tricks, but little things to make online resources. But the next step of that is the actual teaching portion. And I've been having virtual meetings with my class. And it is hard because everyone doesn't attend everyone. There are still maybe a couple of kids, maybe one, who I haven't virtually met with. Um, but pretty much everyone else I have, at least once. And almost all of my kids do the work that I put on Google Classroom. So, that's good. Oh, but so we can decide to do like li live learning where we would get on some sort of like video call and teach that way, or we can do videos. And I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all, this is my time to shine. <laughs> Finally, you cannot laugh at me for doing YouTube videos or criticize why I do it. Not like any of my co-workers or anyone does, but like, wow, I have a skill that is like completely necessary now. So I don't feel worried about filming myself. You know, I don't feel weird about that and editing videos either. So I think it's going to be a fun new twist. And I think the way I'm going to do them is like my it. My Myers-Briggs and my Enneagram tests where I do like a screen recording and then have my face still somewhere in it because I want them, you know, to still be able to see me. Oh, there are the construction workers pulling up. I'm glad I did this now because that's gonna get loud soon. All their trucks pulling But I think I'm going to do some videos, try to keep them as short as possible so that my kids can watch them like over and over again. Oh, that truck is... I don't know where he's going. The sound is going away. Well, this is a morning or daytime video, so I'm not going to worry too much about sounds. But I think I'm going to do videos and post those for my kids because then it's recorded and they can watch it whenever they want because the issue with doing lessons via like a video call is that they have to all be there at that time and that's a little bit tricky obviously especially for people who have multiple kids trying to share devices and all that so I think that's what I'm going to do it's honestly going to be a lot of work though, like filming videos for multiple lessons a day, although not all of the lessons will require a video, I don't think, um, and not all will require, like, my face, but I don't know. I'm, I'm excited about the new challenge. I feel like I am at a huge advantage already knowing how to work YouTube, and being a little bit more tech-savvy. Um, some of my co-workers have struggled a lot and are more overwhelmed, but I'm just kind of, I don't know, like, we don't have a choice to do it any other way, and we have nothing else to do all day than to practice new things, so I'm trying to enjoy it, although it has been hard to like, cut myself off from work, because since it's just on the computer, I could be working, responding to my kids at nine o'clock at night, six in the, six in the evening, seven in the morning, anytime, so I need to be better about kind of stopping myself at a certain point, at least 
with like grading work and responding to kids and parents because the other stuff I don't mind. I've enjoyed making the resources so that doesn't bother me but the interactions there needs to be like a stopping point because that's what happens at school. They go home eventually. But I um I've been dealing with like some physical issues. Last week on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening, I got a really bad migraine. It was like a full-blown migraine for me, which I haven't had in a long time. Um, and when I, and when I get like a true migraine, I get the full-blown thing. The vision issue, like I get it with aura, I get um, basically all the like stroke-like symptoms, the, uh, what, why am I blanking on this? I lose feeling in one side of my face. Oh, it goes numb, that's the word. My, my speech gets messed up, although it wasn't too bad. I get nausea, all of that, like I have literally all of the symptoms. It's really bad. And um, I've actually done a lot more research on migraines since last week. And there's really a curve to them where you'll get, it's called pro, I think, I think prodrome, where you get the aura and all of those weird symptoms. Then the headache will come. And that is like, Think of like a bell curve. That's the majority of the actual curve. That lasted three days for me. And then you get the post-drome, which I had never heard about. And so, you know, having a migraine and dealing with that extreme, for me, it's like nausea and headache for three days is bad enough. But then I got all these other wonderful symptoms. I moved to the mic a little bit closer so I can do some kind of up close whispering and talking. I woke up and my headache was finally gone, but I had all these other weird symptoms. Um, that are actually classic post-drome symptoms. It's like fogginess, uh, being disoriented, vision issues, uh, nausea still, and I just felt weird. Um, I had never felt like this after a migraine, and I've had migraines, I mean, I want to say the first one that I got was maybe when I was like 11 or 12, so like 12 years. We can say like come <laughs> pretty See, like, even now, like, my brain is, like, I cannot think. Uh, we can certainly say, we can comfortably say, I don't know what I'm trying to say there, that I've been suffering with them for about 12 years. And like I said, I have not had a full-blown one in a while, probably close to a year, but I usually get one at least once a year. Now, tension headaches, those, that's, like, monthly at least. But I, um, I had never felt the post symptoms, so it was quite frightening, actually. I felt like something else was happening, like my eyes, um, and they still feel like it a little bit. Um, it feels like, like when I really open my eyes, it feels like, I don't know, they're like stuck or something, and that they're really heavy just weird and I felt um really disoriented and kind of dizzy like almost like I had gone vertigo from my migraine I also feel like um and see now I don't feel too bad but like I feel like my vision has like permanently been degraded um because I just feel like I have to like squint with my contacts in. And I mean, I probably 
should just like go and get a new prescription not like now is the best time to do that but I just felt like my vision was so messed up and the big thing for me was that I felt like my eyes and my brain and my body were not connecting if you're old enough to drink um, and you know the feeling of having like a glass or two of wine or just being a little bit tipsy um, and where your body kind of feels floaty like you know what you're doing but it's almost like how did my body like so smoothly get over here like I feel like I'm just I don't know floating around um, that's what it felt like but I hadn't had anything to drink and it was just weird like my my hand still feels like it a little bit where it's like I can feel my hand but it almost feels like it's like working on its own it's really bizarre and um, when I looked up post drone it said it lasts like 24 48 hours mostly um, and that started for me I think like Thursday afternoon and so Thursday to pretty much all of Thursday, all of Friday, all of Saturday, all of Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Six full days. And it's Wednesday, and I still kind of feel a little bit weird. Um, last night, oh, I also, like, wasn't hungry at all. I wasn't hungry. I wasn't thirsty. It was very bizarre. But last night, yes, maybe yesterday afternoon around 3, I ate a bagel and then and then all of a sudden I felt like so much better. It was weird. So now I don't feel as disoriented, but I still feel a little bit weird eye-wise. And, you know, of course, one of the huge things that you're supposed to stay away from when you have migraines is like a bright screen, basically. Um, I am grateful though that it, I mean, I don't know how much of this was caused by our, you know, COVID situation, but I'm just grateful that I'm at home and I could just release work to my kids online and it was still fine, like things still went on. I've learned new things <laughs> about migraines and I am hoping that I don't not that I don't to get another one for a while. I kind of think that it was caused by a workout. <laughs> Which like of course that would happen to me, right? I mean stress is certainly part of it, but I had done a workout at home and then pretty quickly after is when my migraine set in, and Joe said that that's actually, like, a thing. Workout-induced migraines, so I'm like, okay, well, guess I'm not doing that again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I've kind of been struggling with some things lately. Um, finally starting to feel better, though. I have a virtual meeting with my kids pretty soon, actually. I'll probably be able to edit this video, and then They, they've been killing it online. Like, I'm so amazed and so proud of them for adapting so quickly and for just being up for the challenge and doing whatever I put up on, <laughs> on Google Classroom, they're ready for it. So, they've been great. I feel like my voice cannot do, like, soft-spoken any longer. That's why I don't do soft-spoken videos ever. It's because, like, I find it very difficult, like, physically to do a soft-spoken where I'm not just, like, I can talk in my normal voice, kind of, 
but I feel like I've got a pretty, I don't know, like not relaxing normal voice, so I prefer to do whispers. I find it to be a lot easier, and I like the sounds of, I like whispering better anyway, but I think my soft-spoken voice is like, it needs to rest <laughs> so that I can talk to my kids in a little bit. Yeah, I've got like 45 minutes, so I hope that you have been doing well. Um, I wanted to keep this more positive, but I guess it took a negative turn, but that's just how it is. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better now, and um, I'm trying to see, like, the good in this. Okay, I'll continue this for a little bit longer, because I want to tell you about some more things. <laughs> um, Joe and I got a Nintendo Switch, and I had to scout because the new Animal Crossing game came out and there are, for obvious reasons, like production delays with the Switch and so they were sold out everywhere. And so I had to stock this website that was like a in-stock website, kind of an in-stock tracker, stock tracker or something like that. And I happened to refresh the page shortly after it had updated that there was stock at GameStop. And so we immediately, I immediately went on the website and bought one. Um, I think shortly after that, more stock was released everywhere. So they may be more available now. I'm not sure, but the games were easy to get. We got those on. Amazon and they came super quickly. But Joe got Pokemon Sword, I want to say, and he's been playing that. He had like three days off uh, last week. I think it was like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So he got to play a lot, which was funny because he's not like a, a chill, like video game guy. Um, so it was funny to see him just like sit on the, like wake up and go play the Switch. It was so cute. We also got, uh, Smash Brothers, Smash Bro, Smash, Super Smash something. I don't know. Um, that's not my favorite. I don't like the fighting games. And we also got... See, now I can't think of it. I'm gonna have to... Maybe what I'll do is I'll do like a little haul. Oh my gosh, I can't even say it. A little haul of items. Because I got some tea that I think would make some crinkly noises as well. But we got another game. It's like a Super Mario something. And I really like that one. It's basically like regular Mario. But um, I've enjoyed playing that and learning new games. Um, also, Joe and I have been watching all the Harry Potter movies, and I've never been too interested in the Harry Potter stuff. Like, I didn't read the books, and I really haven't seen any of the movies, at least not in an, their entirety. And so, we've watched, I think, one through five so far. And it's just been nice, like, we've had the time, so we've been able to do something a little bit different. Obviously, watching a ton of Netflix, we have not seen Tiger King. But maybe after we watch the Harry Potter movies, we'll start that. I also kind of want to start, like, I don't know, watching, like, Lord of the Rings or something. Because that's another big series that I've never seen. any of those big series, big movie series, so why not? I mean, we're watching all the Marvel movies in order, but we're kind of like at the end, so we'll need something new. Um, and usually I'm not a big movie watcher, but when all you have is time, <laughs> like what else is there to do? It's kind of funny because I actually, <laughs> I have a spring break starting 
and it's like, why? Why are we still even having spring break? Like, they originally moved it, and everyone raged, so they moved it back, but now it's like, but why? Like, where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? Like, we don't have anything to do, and it's a long spring break this year. We've got a week and two days. I mean, the Thursday is a teacher work day, but like for kids, they have, yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they have 11 days. What are they gonna do for 11 days? <laughs> like, I'm probably gonna put up, like, spring break work like, fun review stuff that they can do, because, like, what else are they gonna do? I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Nothing. Like, I'm grateful that I have a job that has transitioned to online, so that I have something to occupy my mind with. Not like I'm ever one to, like, complain about just sitting around For an extended period of time like this, it's nice to have something to do. Joe took off the whole week of my spring break because we were originally going to go to Charleston. I had to cancel that, obviously. And, um, so now he's potentially going to be picking up days to work. I told him he could have, like, two or three, because I still do want to have, like, some days at home where we can just, like, do nothing together, because it is fun, it, more fun, you know, being home, having someone there with you, and now, well, now that I'm feeling better, I'll probably, like, film a bunch of videos, yeah, both for, <laughs> both, like, teaching videos and just fun ones. weird to like do fact videos when no one can like celebrate the holidays you know like today is april fool's day and i mean that's not a big one i i had looked into doing a fact video for it but it was there was nothing good it was kind of dumb but um <laughs> it's like mother earth just the world got us on this one they're like oh i got them good this year <laughs> the whole world is a joke Because it's like fact videos, except 